Uh, hello, welcome to Reykjavik Grapevine's newscast. Uh, we're going to go over a few things uh, today. A lot of things is happening in the world, as you have noticed, at least in the USA, but later about that uh, in this episode. We're going to start on the island, oh, sorry, perhaps first. My name is Valo Gratison. I'm an editor, editor at Reykjavik Grapevine. And this is Polly, of course. You can see her here. And we're at Hellisgerði. I love this garden. Uh, I grew up here, actually. The first 10 years of my life, I was basically just playing here all the time. So from like, uh, I think we were four years old playing here and until basically 15 or 16. We even played football in this garden and everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you my favorite garden. This is Hellisgerði. This is Hafnafjörður. It's next to Reykjavík. It's a different town. You drive through this town when you come to Reykjavík, actually. You always drive through here. It's on your left when you're going up the, the road. Uh, anyways, uh, you, can, you can check it out. It's Hatli Skerdi. I can write it in the description. So. To the news. Uh, Iceland chief epidemiologist Thorolli Gunnarsson passed a memo to the government uh, yesterday. They were having a meeting about this uh, just an hour ago. Uh, and uh, like uh, it ended then, and the thing is that uh, we are going to open the, the uh, borders at 15th of June. So it's, it's more or less for sure. But keep in mind, it could always change. I mean, if we're talking about like, uh, if, we, if we got like 500 COVID cases tomorrow, then of course it would, it would change. But uh, our uh, Prime Minister, Katrin Jakobsdóttir, is very optimistic that uh, everything will go according to the plan. So what's left now is that uh, Thorolver, he has made a plan, like how we were going to do this. And he's going to be in charge of this plan also. Not the Ministry of Health, uh, but our, our chief epidemiologist, which is interesting in a way, because uh, Kauri Stefansson, the director of DECODE, I told you about this guy, the CEO, uh, he, his drama that he didn't want to participate in testing people that are coming to Iceland, uh, it's, it's over. He wants to participate as long as Thorolvur is, uh, is in charge. So, uh, that has now been established. Uh, so, we're going we're gonna to open the borders at 15. And we're going to test everyone that comes here if they want to. You can also bring a health certificate. Whoa, they're like, they're doing the lawn in a lawnmower here. Let's go here. Let's go away from this racket. This is a little elf shop here. Brilliant. Uh, so what's happening is that we're going to test everyone for two weeks. Uh, the, the cost of this is not clear yet, but it's probably going to be around 100 or 150, 60 million Icelandic krona, which is quite a lot. So they're going to test for two weeks, but they are thinking about how to uh, charge tourists to come to Iceland for the tests that they will get in Iceland. And these tests, it's not clear how they will do this, but you could probably come here, be tested, and get a resolution for that in like a two, in, in like few hours. Uh, what happens if you are with COVID-19? Nobody really knows uh, or have answered that question yet, but, <laughs> but it, it hopefully will be, uh, uh, you know, they will, they will uh, answer that question very soon. Oh, I haven't been here for years. I love this place. So these are like the most common trees in Iceland. More or less uh, like the Christmas tree, just a huge one. And this, when there's winter here, I love this. In the wind, hey! Okay. He's taking a shit here, but <laughs> we have to take this, right? <laughs> we have to be responsible, responsible about this. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, one thing. Uh, we had actually uh, a poll in Iceland. Uh, the polling company EMC Researchers uh, actually polled how Icelanders would vote in American, uh, uh, in American presidential elections. And we found out that 96% of Icelanders would go for Trump. Oh, joking. 96% of Icelanders would actually go for uh, Joe Biden, for some reason. Uh, only 4%, wow. 
<sighs> Only 4% would go for uh, Donald Trump. And those 4% were more or less uh, man in the age of 55 or, or older. Almost no one under 35 uh, in Iceland said that they would go for Donald Trump, which is interesting. So if Icelanders would be the American nation, uh, Joe Biden would get 96% uh, votes uh, in the end of the day, which is quite phenomenal. Is there a trash around here? God. So, uh, uh, this company actually also polled like Germany, France, uh, Denmark, uh, and more countries. So they are like checking out how the world would react to the to to this uh, to the next uh, presidential elections. Uh, also, but uh, yeah, this is quite shocking. Icelanders are not hopeful actually when it comes to Biden really winning. Icelanders said like we would definitely go for Biden, but will we will he win? Uh, only 49.1% believe that he would actually win the, the elections. Uh, we think that uh, Trump, 51% or 50.1% believe that uh, Trump would win. So it's uh, it's quite astonishing how how like. Uh, how, how much hope we have for the American nation, uh, which is interesting. But uh, which brings us to the, the last thing, which is a solidarity meeting tomorrow. Icelanders, like uh, the whole world, is probably haven't, haven't uh, missed news uh, this weekend when it comes to status of Black Lives Matter. It's absolutely shocking to see this. Absolutely shocking to see how politicians are uh, talking. I, I don't name any names, but we have named it in this episode. Uh, there's a trash over there. Uh, but the thing is that, uh, uh, I, like Icelanders, uh, black Icelanders that grew up in the U.S. and live in Iceland, have uh, have are, like having a solidarity meeting tomorrow at Östervöllur. So we go here, okay. And it, it's expected to be a very well sought uh, meeting. That's for sure because uh, these, this uh, has of course been in in news uh, like relentlessly in Iceland also and we are very shocked to see how things are but then again of course Iceland is Iceland it's, it's incredibly white we don't understand this uh, we don't understand this uh, fear uh, we have never the police in Iceland is like very trustworthy uh, people are very uh, positive when it comes to the police in Iceland so I mean but we understand that something is failing when it comes to democracy uh, and uh, we want to show some solidarity. And, I th and we will, uh, me and Ast, of course, probably not Polly though, will go tomorrow and uh, a report from the meeting at, at Östervöllur. Uh, so that's it for our uh, newscast today. Uh, just keep in mind, we're open our borders at 15th of, uh, of June. Uh, you can get a health certificate from your own home country and come straight into Iceland. Uh, and, uh, or you can get tested in Iceland or you get uh, a course quarantine, which is uh, probably not, the, not the, what anybody wants to do, of course. And we're going to show some support uh, in Iceland uh, tomorrow when it comes to Black Lives Matter. Uh, that will probably be the biggest news tomorrow. And, and uh, of course, we're thinking about, uh, we're thinking to everyone, we, 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 Reykjavik Greipan is very, we are, we have American staff also, and we are like uh, watching this uh, just appalled uh, in any way. And Polly is, yeah, she's just living on the edge, like you see. This is Hattlisgerði. Uh, the garden that I grew up in, uh, and it's absolutely lovely. So thank you and goodbye. See you.